Hi guys, welcome to my controller setup tutorial on how to use a controller on t Escape from Tarkov. Now, bear with me, this is my first time ever doing a tutorial. I've got some things written down that I want to go over, but I'll try to keep it as structured as possible. Everything will be linked in the description that we speak on. Uh, the software, my setups, my setup profile, everything will be linked in the description for you to download. You can install it and it's very simple and easy for you guys to use. Uh, some of the things we're going to go over is my controller, the controller that I use, why I use it. Uh, we're going to go through the, the two different software one for the controller the cuttings with the controller and then a separate bit of software that allows you to map all of your key binds and your mouse to the controller other things we're going to go over is some of the accessories that i use to make the controller just a wee bit more enhanced and a bit more responsive it can work a lot better we're also going to go over my in-game settings for my my controller the controller i use is the xbox elite series 2 this is the first xbox controller that i've had or i've used I'm normally a playstation guy i've used playstation controllers i've also used uh, some scuff controllers with, which have some of the same functionality as this controller. This is a more premium controller compared to scuff controllers. I've had two scuff controllers and both of them have broke within pretty short period of time. This is like pretty heavy and it's, it's very sturdy. It also comes with a lot more functionality. It has the paddles on the back, the four paddles on the back, which I use all of them. So my setup today will include all of these paddles. If you have a controller that doesn't uh, have these paddles, you can still set up your controller in the way that suits you best using the ideas and principles that I have in place for my controller. Uh, and you can set them up however you want that works for you. Uh, other things that allows me to do is with the triggers, I have these little switches here. If I push them up to the top, it gives me full range of motion of the button. That means that I have to pull it the full way down for it to for the input to go to max. So like let's say you're thinking of Tarkov if you're going to be ADSing or firing with these buttons like I do. If you have to pull it the full way down, there's just that slight delay before your input is in the game. So like you'll have to pull that the full way down every time before you can ADS or fire. If you put these switches down to the bottom, it means that these uh, triggers don't have to go as far. So that's that's a, one of the benefits of this controller that I absolutely love and I would not change for to get another controller. The paddles are also the best paddles that I've used on any other controller such as the scuff controllers. Okay, so one of the things I want to speak about is the software for the, the Xbox controller. It's the Xbox accessories app which you need to have installed for the controller. For this to work probably with Read WASD which is the, the program that I use to map keybinds. It does need to be set up in a certain way within the Xbox program so that it, there's no conflicts with any keybinds that you're going to press. What you basically need to do is you need to create a profile and you need to have it as an empty profile so instead of the default profile which is here you need to have an empty profile like this and in here you need to remove the back buttons and just have them as zero input a uh, if i click edit i go into rebind i've got my triggers i've got all the buttons set up but in here i need to click these and hit the primary and have it as unmap and you need to do that for all four paddles on the back this allows you to set up your own custom inputs for these paddles on the back and they're not locked to any xbox buttons which you can bind to anything that you want okay guys now we're into the software that i use to bind all of my in-game keybinds to a controller uh, things i set up such as like movement healing aiming peaking stuff like that is all binded to this controller and um, the right stick is bound to mouse movement and mouse input there's a bit of technical stuff within the mouse to make it smooth to make it adjustable to make you be able to go from sensitivity stages so like you want to be able to turn fast uh, when you're movement so that people shoot you you could turn and run away if things like that but when you're ADSing or aiming at an enemy depending on the different ranges you want to be able to move your aim you know at gradual speeds like for those fine details you, you want to be able to move slowly or if some uh, an enemy moves fast across your screen you will be able to move a bit faster with his speed and um, so there's some technical things that i've set up within this that will actually it you know just it just helps with the precision aiming um this program that i use is called re w a s d uh, the basic version of this program is free uh, the paid version which is the one that i have is a one-time payment 
version and it's like basically 20 euros or 20 dollars or something like that for all the features so it's not that expensive and it's a one-off payment you never have to pay again i bought this software i think like three years ago or maybe four years ago and it has been the best bit of software i've ever bought off anyone any issues i've ever had with this software trying to set things up or trying to adjust things the support from the guys that make this software is second to none there's a discord channel where they basically are in there every day all day you can message them directly yourself and they will actually go through absolutely everything you'll be able to download your logs of the software and send it to them and they'll tell you you know what issues you're having what adjustments you haven't set up correctly uh things like that but the software is pretty straightforward there's a lot of tutorials online uh however for what i use it for here it's pretty simple to set up it's just some things you got to remember when you're using it in game but after a day or two of using it all of the buttons all of this the setup that i use just comes to you naturally it's so intuitive so easy to use uh, the difference between this software and other software that i've used such as ds for windows or steam input is that this allows you to bind multiple key binds to one input so if you look here on the y key that i have or the y button i have three buttons three inputs set up to this y button on one on one key bind but then also it allows you to set up different layers of key binds which are called within this program they're called shift layers and you'll see those highlighted in different colors on these buttons i'll go into these in a bit more detail uh, but like let's say the left button on my controller i have a bound to left alt on the keyboard however when i hold it in it will go to shift layer 2 on this program so what that means is if i hold that in up here i can switch between the layers if i go to shift layer 2 all of the key binds stay the same except for the buttons which all change to number inputs so 7 8 9 and 6 what that means is when i hold left button i have these numbers which i have set up in game so like let's say for your healing items so for your painkillers your salewas your you know bandages uh, tourniquets thing like that i have those bound to these buttons so like whenever i'm in game i just hover the mouse over them i hold l1 i press y that sets which i always use l1 and y for uh heavy bleeds items so hemostats i use l1 and a i use that for like healing items so like salewas ifax things like that l1 and x i use that for painkillers whatever painkiller i'm using at that time whether it be a morphine a propotol or just a normal painkiller uh, and l1 and b i have that you know for whatever anything that i want to have set up in there sometimes i have it set up as a normal bandage but most of the time i will have that bound to a specific grenade that i want to use so if i got a, like a fog grenade in my pockets i can have that set up this base specific grenade so okay so you got the main layer which is where all the normal key binds are set up all of these key binds i have set up so that everything that you do normally so before you ads before you try to heal before you try to inspect your weapon anything like that so left stick is set to wasd and then when you click it in left click is set to v that's easy to set up by pressing on one of these and you just click wasd to set it up and that'll set up all of them and then you click the stick in and you can set that to v in here uh the d-pad i have it set to y m p t and you'll see here i have two inputs set for the down on the d-pad one is x if i single tap it however if i go over here to double tap i have that set to z so x is single tap double tap is z and what i have that set to is x so if i'm in my inventory and i want to you know discard an item i just press down on my d-pad uh, if i want to like if i'm running in the open and i want to drop my backpack I, I double tap down and that will immediately drop my backpack if i'm overweight and i get into a fight right on the d-pad is p and t i have these set up to i think right on the d-pad is to change magnification on my scope while i'm not an ads and left on my is to set up like my tactical device i think no actually i changed that I, i'll check in game what that's for uh when we when we move over into the game so this could be the more detailed thing that i'm going to go over uh, uh maybe these are all just different key binds now why the reason why i have three inputs in that it's like one tap double tap and triple tap all on y if i click in here you'll see single press double tap triple tap and i have all of those binded different key binds the reason for that is i use y to, to change weapon so if i press y once it will use my it, like 
be my weapon on my sling. If I double tap it, it'll be my weapon on my back. And if I triple tap it, it'll be my pistol. So you've got all three weapons that you're able to pull out quite easily with one button. <coughs> a. We have B. X. I use for reload. And I've that got that set to N. A. I've got bound to F. That's where I pick up items off the ground. Um, menu button. I set that to escape. So that I can escape out of things in the inventory pretty quickly. And the share button. I have that set to tab. Um, left and right trigger. So if we go to the back of the controller. Left trigger is right mouse. So I ADS. Right trigger is left mouse. Which is my fire button. My paddles on my back. I have. Now the reason why I have these set up this way. Is quite in, quite detailed. Is I have the left side. The top one set the shift. The bottom one set the control. Now I use the left shift to sprint. And I use left control to jump. Right shift and right control is set on the right side and these are for a uh, uh, i'll explain that more in game but left control left shift the reason why i have these is left shift and left control is when you then go into your looting so like you're going to loot an enemy you have left shift left control a uh, left alt all on one side so you've got your left shift left control on the back side and you've got your left alt as your top left button so that means when you're looting somebody you're able to control click even using the mouse you're able to control and click items across into your backpack or you're able to use left alt which is left button and click like a weapon and equip that weapon straight away now the advantage of that is to having these on on the left side of the controller is like let's say you're under pressure there's other enemies around you hear enemies coming or you want a fast loot you can actually keep the controller in your left hand you can grab your mouse you can loot with your mouse and you can still hold the control with your finger or left alt and you're able to equip the items pretty quickly i'll show you more of that when we get in the game okay so different shift stages mean you're able to do different things now if we go through the different shift stage or the shift layers if i go to shift layer one i have this set so that when i hold down my left trigger which is my ads key some of my key binds will change on my controller and these are actions that i need whenever i'm ads so other actions i don't need will be swapped out for ones that i do need when i'm ads so i hold left trigger goes in the shift mode if i tap rb which is the right button which changes to p i have that bound in game to change my scope zoom level so if i'm ads i press right button and that will like go from like four times to eight times scope while i'm in ads uh, on my up and down d-pad i have that set to page up and page down so i can change the bullet trajectory so like it goes from 50 to 100 i can change that with the d-pad quite easily uh, on the back side of the controller my buttons on my back will change from the left button right button will go to q and e so that means that if i want to lean peak i hold ads i press the two left buttons on the back of the controller and i can lean left and right a uh, left button down here I have set to this key bind and I have that set in game to hold breath. So if I ADS, I can lean left and right. I can hold my breath. Uh, I can change a uh, scope, things like that all in game now on this button the right button i have it so that in game i have it set up so that you tap it to change or i double tap and it will change to a canted site if you've got a canted site on it and all of this like took me it took me probably a couple of off a few offline raids i probably done about 10 offline raids and all of them i just went in and just run around killing the scavs practicing all of these keybinds and it came pretty quickly now the difference is you can see that my mouse input has changed from the shit the normal main layer it also changes in my shit layer and the reason being is i have a higher sensitivity setup in my main layer than i do whenever i'm ads uh, and also this is how my analog stick registers the input the further i push it across i'll go over this in a bit more detail um in a second but basically what this is is like if you think of me moving the analog stick to the right which is my mouse if i move if i move it you can see the mouse moving if i move it like slightly you'll see the mouse will move slowly so that's me like if i'm ads and i want to be able to aim or move around quite slowly but the further i push it the more aggressive it will move until i get to the end it will like just fl like fly across the screen what that means is if i'm aiming at an enemy or if i'm like slowly looking in a small area i'm able to like aim slowly like that like let's say an enemy is at my 45 degrees and i want to move fast i just push it fast and i can like snap across basically same as what you could do with the mouse it's not as easy as it is with the, with the mouse but the more you practice it the more you do it the more you get used to it this here zone shape stuff is something that you don't need to worry about on this it's 
it's basically I just have a custom response curve set up on my mouse or my right stick sorry that will go slow 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 jump and then go fast at the end um I've got a vertical axis range and a horizontal axis range these are basically this here so like if I push up I push down I push right I push left this is the range of motion that I have to press before it'll go to like a diagonal input and I've tested this a lot with all different ones the more I move it up the wider that range will get the more I move it down the lower the range will get but I've I've tested all of this and I've got to a place where I'm comfortable and that I feel works the best now that's on the main layer so that's like when you're not ADS but let's talk about when you go into ADS I then have my sensitivity turned down on the, the stick and I also have a, a slightly less responsive like a, a slightly less aggressive response curve so down here it'll be like really slow input that is like your fine iron like your ADS on an enemy with an eight times scope and you're trying to get that fine adjustment to get onto their head that's where this part comes into play where you want to like go slow 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 and if it if it does my curve doesn't suit you you can come in here and you can like make this longer so that it's like even slower you can adjust it you can tweak it you can do some of the default settings or you can move any of these yourself and see how, how you want your curve to line up and i change the um, axis range on this because I, I i just know how used to it i want to be able to whenever i'm ADS. all of this is personal preference whatever you feel comfortable with you can adjust these in here um, um, then if we go to shift layer 2 this was my healing items uh, things like that my I hold left all down here I have got one two three set up and within game I have those set up to inspect my weapon check my fire mode check my ammunition in my gun one of the main ones is I hold left alt and I press up in the d-pad so like let's say you get a gun jam if I hold left alt and I press up I have it set in game so that I I press up on press it will check the gun it will check the gun to see what the malfunction is when you let it go it will fix the malfunction so if you basically hold left button, press up on the D-pad, it will check the malfunction and fix the malfunction for you in one click. I had this set up on my, my mouse and my keyboard whenever I always played on mouse and keyboard, but for this challenge, I needed the way to do it on the D-pad and that's how I've set it up. Okay, now if we move to shift layer three, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So shift layer three is for the right button. Now I use right button to on it by itself or like the free look. So if I want to free look left and right, I have that set up as that. And within that, I also have my zones adjusted in here and my aggressive curve so I can snap my head left and right and look left and right pretty quickly. Uh, and the custom curves that I've set up on the, the thing is when I had it on the default curves, when I move left and right, I put my head left and right, it kept registering the input of the right stick. So like your head would like jitter to the left and right like this and it wasn't good. So like I had to adjust these and fine tune this so that there was no jitter in the head and you could actually just look left and right quite easily. Uh, so that's my setup for that. You, you Even if you don't download my profile and use my profile, you can actually go in and copy a lot of these settings for your first adjustment and then adjust it how you like it. Uh, if we go to shift layer 4 shift layer 4 is all about the xbox button so i have this set to m if i hold that in and i move my mouse up and down it turns my mouse into the scroll wheel because you don't have a scroll you've got a scroll wheel on a mouse when you're looting you can scroll up and down but on a controller you don't have that functionality so if i hold in that button it'll swap my right stick to the scroll wheel where i can like just up and down and scroll up and down let it go loot as normal hold it push up to move up um, and that's how i've set up my keyboard on this uh, next I'm gonna go in game show you some examples of me using this uh, how it works in different things how I do to certain things and then you can basically work from there set up all of yours and adjust it accordingly to suit yourself okay so we're now in game in an offline raid and I'm gonna show you some of the things now I've turned AI on so if I hold left trigger it will ADS if I press right trigger, it will fire. I've got three weapons set up here. If I want to change to, you know, the weapon on my back, which is the UMP, I double tap. Why? It will pull that out. If I want to change to the pistol, I triple tap. It will pull out the pistol. So, all pretty straightforward. Double tap, UMP. And uh, my buttons on my back, I press the left bottom button let me see if you can see this with that button i hold it to crouch up and down uh, the other one on this side i press the jump i hold it in 
to, sp to sprint. That's the buttons on my back. And then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, this button here on the right, I use that to walk, immediately walk slow. So if I walk and then I press that button, I will immediately go to a slow pace. If I want to creep up on someone. If I <coughs> ADS, my shift flare will kick in. And I will lean left and right if I press the two buttons up, the top buttons on the back, which turn to Q and A. That's how I, I peek. If I hold right button and I, I move my stick right, left, I, I look left and right. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Easy enough. I can like look around pretty quickly. I can like move it. Now here's the thing. So if I'm like if I push the stick full way left, you'll see I'll spin pretty fast. If I move it slowly, I will move at a slower pace. And now that we've done that, I can quickly show you a bit of looting. Let's see. Right, so I'm on the scav. Remember, I hold in the Xbox button and I move up and down on the stick. And that will like scroll up and down if i like let's say if i move the mp i can like hold right trigger and drag that in my inventory i can then hold left button which is left alt and just click the gun across i can hold left control which is the bottom button on this and then i can just click the trigger and that'll go into my inventory if i want i double click it with the trigger Click search. I can just grab this with a trigger, drag it up, or I can open it up with a double click, check the ammo, type in it, and then press the menu button to escape those menus and get back. On the gun, I can press down on the D-pad, which will discard the weapon. Go back over to this, hold the left button, which is left alt, right click to equip my gun. So that if i try to do that like let's say where that gun go whoa so my meds if i hover over it hold left button press any of these buttons and it will set up keybind to, to use it so i'll use x i'll use ed for that and i'll use y for that and I can use B for that. So we've got four buttons set up. Let's say if I jump off this. I've hurt my legs. Okay. Right. So I've hurt my legs. So if I hold left button. Press A. Use the slower. Left button again. Press A. Use the slower. I, st I still believe I've still got that other scab further back. I kind of want to take them all out so I can do this in peace. But oh well. Right. So what we're going to try to do... Uh, got to go back to gear. We're going to try to do this pretty quickly. So if I want to take that... I can drop it across, right click... And hit fold. I don't have a middle mouse button set up yet. I'm trying to work out where I'm going to put that onto. Uh, we can search these left control right click left control right click pretty quick <clears throat> sometimes it, like for little things like that it's just as quick as using the mouse things like this where you, you drag across I just grab that and drag it with the right stick I want to search this this is stuff I brought in just to show that I could still do it uh, but I can do that Triple tap, get my pistol out. I've got my pistol. Right, so, want me MP actually. So, you'll see that if I move slowly, and then to the right stick slowly, and then push further, it will go faster. If I'm ADS, it will go a lot slower because I've got my sensitivity down, but I've also got the custom curve of the stick 
So the slow, the lighter I push it, the slower it'll go. So like, if I'm looking at the, if I'm looking at the aim at this bottom right corner of the window, I can like get onto it pretty quickly. Bottom right corner of the other side, oh yeah, pretty quickly. So the left button, the the shift layer too, which does your healing items on the right side, the right buttons when you hold that in. On the D-pad, you press down. I can check ammo. If I tap left, I can check my fire mode. If I press up, it'll inspect the weapon, so I can check for malfunctions. Uh, right doesn't do anything. I don't have that set up to do anything. Now, I've also got another thing set up on this controller. I've got it set up within Tarkov's settings, but if I tap once, it will change the fire mode. However, if I double tap it, it will always go to full auto. If I'm not sure if I'm on full auto, I can always just double tap and make sure that nothing changes because I'm already on full auto. I've got a light on my gun, which I B turns my light on. Double tap and B cycles through the modes. So you can see where the, the four buttons on the back, the paddles, just make life so much easier. A lot easier. And this is definitely the best controller that I've used. Sprint, I can jump. Oh, right stick. So if I click in right stick, I'll go prone. So I can run. Immediately go prone. The main thing about getting effective using a controller and making it like work for you is those custom curves on the right analog stick and um, a few accessories that i have on my controller one is on my left stick i have like these little rings and they're little foam rings that i got off amazon so i i have my input on the left stick so that it's set instantly that even the slightest push will be the slightest push forward will be movement input straight away now the what the rings do is it means that i do not have to push the stick the full way forward full way back full way left or right it, it only has like a slight movement which makes it a lot easier a lot less travel distance basically what i've been doing is just going offline raids Practicing shooting different poles, things like that, but if I can... Right, let me see. Right, we killed him. And that was mainly iron sights on a Mosin being able to hit him with the analog stick. It's because of the small custom curve, the short curve. My in-game keybinds, uh, things that I have. Yes, I use inverted aim. This is my sensitivities of the mouse. Uh, this does kind of affect your sensitivity on the right stick. Uh, and these are all the keybinds I've set up. Now, there's some things that I haven't set up yet, like smoothly and right and left. That's the next thing that I've got to do. I want to work out how I'm going to do that. Okay, and that is everything that I need to show you on how to set up your controller on Escape from Tarkov. Now, you'll ha I'm sure you'll have a lot of questions. If you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I will be streaming on my youtube channel each night this week monday to friday from 6 to 9 p.m uk time drop in ask me any questions that you need help with anything setting up i will do my best to answer any of them in there uh, follow my socials mainly on my tiktok where i post most of my gameplay and i with the controller setup uh, and that's everything thanks for watching and hopefully you can use a controller and talk enjoy bye bye